Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins. Code Primate, what is this thing doing over here? Hold on. Oh, oh, easy, easy. There we go. Sweet. Perfect. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode. Oh, wait, that's with the end. I'm supposed to do the intro. Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Let's Make a Game. So um, if this is your first time watching one of these, uh, basically, it's not going to be a tutorial. So if you came here for like, oh my gosh, she's going to teach me something. No, not really. Um, this is my game that I've been creating. And yes, it's kind of based on Lumber Tycoon 2, but it's going to have a lot of different stuff. One thing that you can't do inside Lumber Tycoon 2 is run. And um, I made a new pass. So right here, there's a game pass for 200. Um, yeah, it's self-promotion. Uh, no, if you want to buy it, you can. If not, that's cool too. Um, check this out. So if you press shift, you might have to hit it twice because the first one checks to see if you have it. And if you don't, it'll prompt you, do you want to buy it? Uh, I don't know if it's working in game or not because I already have the pass. I've tried it with like some other accounts, but it was whenever I first did it. Anyhow, long story short, you can run now and it gives you a, it gives you a little bit of a double speed. So yay, you can do like little lobbies and stuff like that. I, I won't put anything in the game that you must buy the pass in order to get that thing, whatever that thing is. So, um, it's up to you if you want to buy it or not. So, and I mean, the game's not even out yet, so don't worry about buying it. Like, I'm not concerned about it, but I did want to show you that little script that I used to, um, to check it. So, there is a server side script right here that is run. So, when you press shift, I make a, I fire a thing over here to the server and I check, here's the, the game pass, right? And then I do on server invoke, print player's name. I don't actually need to print that anymore. Uh, but it checks it one time and it says um, the marketplace service, MPS, we pull in to a local variable and we do um, if player name, oh, by the way, Severus Sumo, congratulations for uh, winning a free run service. You don't get the badge, but you get the ability. So there you go. Uh, 200 Robux value. Mm. <laughs> um, so if that's if this person joins, he gets a return of true. And I might be giving that ability away for like things. I, I might do that in my game. Uh, in, anyhow, next, if uh, if it's not that person, if it's somebody else, it goes and checks to see if that person has the game pass. All right, the game pass is here as run pass. We pass that in right here. Uh, right here is player. And we pass that in player.user ID. And then we make a call. And if it's true, if that person does have it, then it returns true to our calling script. If not, it returns false to our calling script. And the calling script is inside the context. Uh, so down here at the bottom, right here, shift. Oh, I should do something for the game pads. Um, C grab, game pad one. I, I was starting to do something there, wasn't I? Hmm. Is that context grab? Controller grab. Where, where did I have controller grab at? Why is that there? What is this? Rot. Don't I have rot up here? No, I do not. Sorry, I'm getting lost in the code at the moment. Uh, and target, that we needs to be local. Local target, there we go. Down at your local target stored. You can win today. Okay, so what I wanted to do tonight was either do context uh, menus or I wanted to do um, a car, like sprucing up the old uh, test buggy. By the way, this test buggy is available inside my items. Um, this is a, a different version of it. It's the one that I like played with for this game. Um, but this is not this is not going to be a car in the game. So I thought if you guys wanted to, we could do that. But instead, uh, I really do, I want to work on the context menus. I want the ability to like, when I move my mouse over this, if it has the ability to grab, it pops up over here, click, click to, to grab. And then uh, same thing with uh, like press E to open, which I don't have any E to open yet, but we're, we should do that. And by the way, the shift uh, WASD keys do work. Um, they're not correct in rotating the, uh, 
like I wanted the uh, C frame of the camera to translate into the object and it doesn't. So we'll, we'll come back to that. Uh, for now, let's do context menu items. Uh, so I'm actually going to need to program the UI. So let's do uh, screen GUI. Let's see, starter, starter GUI. Screen GUI, screen GUI, right there, right. Um, do I need a screen GUI? Yeah, this is, uh, let's just keep it, keep it screen GUI. That way it's not hard to figure out. Uh, let's go ahead and add a frame. Uh, right down here. And by the way, I love the fact that this has uh, movability. Like you can, it's the, it's the new way of doing things inside here. So there's the frame. Uh, we are going to want a drop box of the frame. Should I leave it as the frame or should I leave it a text box? I think we should do text box with the frame behind it. Does text box go in the frame? Like that? Does that work? I don't know if that works. Anyhow, uh, let's change the frame itself to be a background color of black. Drink, like that. Okay, border color is going to be black. Border, every, everything is black. It's a, it's a drop shadow. Where's the border? Border color? Border. Mm, oh wait, is it? Okay, okay, it's good. It's good. Uh, border color for this one is just gonna be, it's white. Okay. How does that look? That looks pretty good. I like it. No, I'm not selecting things in there. I'm on the UI, dude. Come on, seriously. <clears throat> Get out of the spot. <sighs> there is some uh, that uh, plugin that makes this a little bit easier to work with, but I'm doing okay. I like it. And then inside that frame, also, we want to insert uh, an image label. And the image label be just like that. I think. I think good. Uh, and I should, hold on, let's go ahead and import an image. Hold on, I'll pull this off to the side so you can't see it. Um, basically, I'm going to put the letter E on there. <coughs> download, downloading, sweet, okay. Just called download. But I don't, I don't want to call it download. So let's, uh, can I, okay, can I check? Completed, images, download, rename. We're gonna call this letter E. <clears throat> so, I keep clicking on it like it's an interface, which is bad. So down here where the image is, right there, letter E, like that. And let's, let's stretch these out. Let's go, let's go to right there. Okay, that might be too much. Let's go down some. That good, good. Looks, looks okay, I think, for what it is. All right, can we collapse that? Thank you, collapse that one. Uh, frame image label. Wait, is the image label? Blink. There we go. Oh, no. It moved on me. Huh. I wonder if that's going to look correct. If not, that's fine, too. Close, 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 close. And... Come on. Right there. Mmm, that's not going to work. Okay, so... Let's change this. I'm gonna want another frame. So let's just go ahead and duplicate this. Uh, we don't need, I guess we, we don't need these two. 
but this frame and this frame, okay, the text image label box thingy, we're just going to put it to the same size as our first frame. This frame, we're going to put right, oh, oh, come on, there, all right, <clears throat> and we'll pull these into here. This frame label is going to be, okay, this text box, we're going to make it a transparency background. Background pixel size is going to be zero. This is for the text box. Background, oops, cancel. Background transparency is going to be one. So this first, or this second frame, this first frame we're going to call the uh, back frame, back frame, back frame, frame. I can't spell tonight at all. Boink. No, that's going to put it in front of the silly goose. All right. Wait, hold up. Okay. This one's going to be the front frame. Front frame. Do 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 do. There we go. And now they should be both both the same size. And now this can get even right there. And the front frame actually needs to be white, not black. So like that. Border color the same, even though it shouldn't have a border. Border size pixel zero. Now wait, why is it? in front like that. That's not. <clears throat> Can I push this to the back? Wait, hold on. How do, how do I push it back? Do I put this in front? Ah, ha ha. There it goes. Front frame, even text box. There you are. No. Uh, control Z. The text box needs to be moved to like this because I don't want the text messing up the the E or any of that. All right. All right. The image should not have a border. So zero border. Yes. Yes. Looks good. All right. So let's go ahead and move the back frame back down here. Like that. Whew, that was a lot to do. All right. <clears throat> Ow. So um, we're going to call this the context GUI. And let's see. We need to put that into server storage, I think. Uh, let's do insert object and folder, 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 folder. Folder. I'm going to call this. Um, GUIs. GUIs. <clears throat> and by the way, it is pronounced GUI. Graphical user interface, not a GUI. It's a GUI. Um, okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Control Z. We need to name that something, don't we? We're going to call this, what are we going to call this? We are going to call this um, context text context text image label we're just going to call it the e image e img <laughs> that works um and can i make this visible enabled enabled disabled enabled disabled so i can just en enable it or disable it right ooh Ooh, okay, okay. I see, I, I see. Okay, <clears throat> so let's call local context GUI equals, uh, oh gosh, where does this show up inside? So, players, code primate, player GUI, Context GUI. Okay, 
I gotta write that down. So it's gonna be players uh, player name dot player GUI dot context GUI dot back frame dot front frame dot context text context text dot value so um for now I'm just going to put in here uh, test parent is front frame where's the available text <clears throat> placeholder text and this is just going to be test just like that all right so um, we want the context to actually pop up so let's hit stop <clears throat> all right uh, and we need to set these so local wow local context menu context menu equal no not context menu context GUI yeah, equals, wow, wow, I cannot hit my buttons tonight. There we go, how far along are we, 15 minutes. Context GUI equals, uh, and then I need all of this, but it's not going to be all of that. It's gonna be the local player, and we should be able to go up to here. Paste, why did I do an insert right there? Uh, context GUI. Okay. Local context text equals uh, <coughs> copy paste. Uh, we need all of this, don't we? Actually, context GUI. We can just go from right here. Context GUI dot back frame, front frame, context text, value. Or we don't need the value, we just need that. There we go. So whenever we pass over an object, uh, we are doing a move. Where's the move at? So move is right here, mouse movement, move. So here we go. Um, owner equals find first child owner. We need to we need to not check it on the local script. We need to fire it off to uh, to the server. Actually, no, we don't need to do any server call yet because we haven't con like we haven't actually pressed the button to context. So we're just checking for an owner. So if there's an owner, uh, then we are going to uh, if owner. All right, contacts context move um, let's see context GUI dot enable and context text dot value equals owner dot value uh, oh no this is this is for ease isn't it so if we can move it, is this can grab? Yeah, this is can grab. Okay. Uh, otherwise, oh, this still works, doesn't it? But just not with the E. This, this would be over on the other side, this side. So we actually need to do this twice, don't we? So, okay. Let's uh, let's just go ahead and duplicate this. Let's enable it first, and then duplicate. Uh, and take this one, this one, F2, we're going to change this to grab GUI. And come on. It's enabled, right? Where's, uh, where is it? Hold on. UI. 
Oh, it's... <laughs> yeah, there we go. All right, so I need to actually grab the back frame. Do to do. Whoa! See what happens when you're not when you're grabbing in the world and not the real thing. Come here, come here, you. There we go. Did I grab it? No, still grabbed the other. Why is it locked? Ugh! This makes me so mad sometimes. Okay. Where is position? There we go. There's position. X, Y. So X, let's go to 1. Wait, 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 wait. Can I do this? What is going on there? Okay, okay. Well, that kind of works. So let's do Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. Okay, so let's move this over to the opposite side, right there, and just shrink that down, like that. Now, is there already a mouse icon? Because we don't need the E on that one, we need the, like the mouse icon. Um, <clears throat> well, let's do this. Uh, Roblox mouse icon image. Mouse icon appearance Roblox developer had um, let's just do images. It's not what we want at all. Is what it? Hold on, what does it look like? Okay, and, and it goes like inverted on certain areas. So I just I just want an image like that. Actually, ooh, let's do this. Uh, snip new oh gosh stop stop all right move my mouse right there control in there we go and i'm going to save that <coughs> save link i'm going to call it um mouse let's call it roblox mouse yeah just roblox mouse or Roblox. I guess it'd be a cursor because it's it's an image of a thing. It's not an actual thing itself. So let's go back over to images. Do an import mouse image open, uploaded and away. Good. Roblox mouse image. There we go. So whatever I did a second ago for the screen GUI right here. Context grab grab GUI. Open 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 open. We are going to insert image. Label F2 Roblox mouse. and then that image Oops. Doop, 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 right there and Roblox mouse. Roblox mouse. Oh, is it not showing up yet? Where is it? Wait, wait, stop. Roblox mouse. Is it not? Showing? Why is it not showing? No. Huh. Is that F5 it? Uh oh. Local my time dot game line. What? What happened there? Expected and equals. <laughs> Near the else. Oh. Uh, enabled equals true. Um, if there's pickup text, if there's find find child can grab. Um, dot, uh, true. Let's see. Uh, we also want this one to be true, but, and this isn't for, is this for the can grab? Yeah, can grab. So we want uh, grab GUI. Uh, grab text. And this one's going to be grab GUI. 
Okay, so first thing that we want to do is check to see if the action is move. If it is move, then we set target equal to mouse target. If there is a target, then we do pick up text equals the target that find first child can grab, which any one of the objects, oops, stop, um, home, stop. Any one of the objects that's inside my world that you can grab, like this one here, it's got a text value in it that says can grab, and then value of that can or can grab text should show up over here. Ooh, I just hit my screen. Oh my gosh, we're 25 minutes in. I gotta, I gotta get moving here. Uh, why did my image not work? So, mouse. Okay, let's close these all down again. We're not in test mode, right? No, no, we're not running the script. Close this. Um, I did want to take a second to talk to you guys about something that I find very, very important. So I have had a lot of offers for people to come in and help me on my game and a lot of offers of help for people from DMs to tweets to comments to like a lot of people have been asking, hey, Kate, can I help you? Can I, I'm really good at scripting. I'm really good at building. I'm really good at doing this. Okay. Thank you for the offer, okay? And this I'm going to say this because I have to say this every single time. Thank you for the offer. I want to do this completely on my own. This needs to, like, I've got to do this on my own. My reasons are my own. And um, I wanted to take a second to, to say thank you to everyone who's offered. On that note, um, there is a huge difference between creative criticism or constructive criticism and insulting, okay? And, and you need to know the difference, all right? You might be young enough that you're like, it's, it's okay. It's rude to insult somebody, tell them that they're not really that good at something and that their ideas are, are not good but then say that you're just critiquing. No, there's a difference between insulting somebody and, and creative criticism. All right, I get creative criticism all the time. I've got a developer's council inside my, my Discord. I've got Red Guy and I've got Weeby and they will tell me the truth. They will tell me when they're like, no, nah, that doesn't really work. And they're good about it. Okay, and I've got a ton of other people, I've got a ton of other developers who will come to me and say, hey, I don't really think that was a good idea. What if you did this instead? And I listen to them, all right? The people I don't listen to, and this goes for everybody who's out there who sent me a message and feels burned by me. Okay, you don't sit there and say, you're trash at building. Or you come back and you say, you're really not that good at models, are you? And then you, you go further to say, um, but you should let me do it for you because I'm really good. I'm sorry. That is not constructive criticism. Okay. That is insulting. And then when somebody goes and says, thank you for your offer, uh, but I'm going to do this on my own and don't insult me. But then you write back to them a second time, a third time, a fifth time, and you continually berate them with messages about how they're not doing well. You better believe I'm not going to listen to you. I'm going to block you. I will not listen to trolls and you will not be part of this that I'm doing. Okay, go. If my development is so bad or if you really think that I'm not that good at scripting, then go make your own. Okay. Because I'm not going to sit here and do that. This is a this is a very family friendly channel. This is a very loving, open community, and that is what I started my YouTube channel for. Okay, I did not start my channel to make a bunch of money or get a hundred thousand subscribers. I didn't do that. I started my channel because I got tired of seeing people on the internet be mean to each other. I got tired of watching my kids watch a YouTube video of some guy just screaming into a microphone. 
and just going off and cursing and cussing and all the other stuff that is just mean about the internet. This is not a place to be mean. And I'm sorry if I, I came off wrong at this, but it's been bugging me. It's been bugging me a lot because there's been five or six people within the last week that I've completely banned and they're no longer on my Twitter. They're no longer on my discord. They're no longer on my YouTube channel. They're gone because they just did not understand that there's a, there's a line and you need to know how to talk to people. Okay. And I hope that I express myself whenever like it comes to your daily interactions with human beings. Don't be mean. Okay, there's a there is a right way and there is a wrong way to speak to somebody else. <sighs> and I hope that I've I've influenced everyone enough to understand the difference. Because if not, then I mean I don't know what I've been doing for the last four years. Five years. Because that's that's what my channel is about, is is teaching you that it's okay to fail, that it's okay to not spell correctly, or it's okay to not be a strong reader because you're going to have a strength in some, some other place. Okay. It's like telling a fish that you're no good because you can't climb a ladder. That, that fish might not be able to climb a ladder, but you know what? That fish is really good at breathing underwater. It's probably a really good swimmer. In fact, it probably can breathe underwater better than I can. Just saying. <sighs> <laughs> I have a lot of pent up tension from school and high school and I, uh, I don't want anybody to ever feel the way that I did when I got told I was different. So, uh, sorry, I'm going to back into, we were doing context menu. <laughs> wow. that. Sorry. I do apologize. That just went in a different direction. But it's it's been really bugging me. It is coffee. It is very much nectar. <clears throat> what was I doing? Here we go. Context. The grab text and the grab menu. So I actually need to come in here and do the same. Th Oops. Same thing like that. Uh, and context GUI is going to be called grab GUI and same thing here grab grab GUI is going to be called grab text and we're just going to change this to grab GUI grab text <sighs> excuse me Oh, I don't want to save there. Uh, let's do file, save to Roblox, file, pub publish to Roblox. There we go. Context, context, GUI. Um, next, let's go. Down here at the bottom, where did we go? Grab, grab, grab. Okay, so if not, we want it to be... Uh, so that's the can grab. Pick up text. Pick up text dot value, right? Because we got pickup text right here. If the pickup text exists and there is an owner, we set it to the owner value. If not, then we set it to the pickup value. Uh, and if action equals move, if mouse has a target, if target, then pickup text. Uh, okay. Else, if there is no pickup text, then we want to hide the GUI. And I guess we don't have to really set the value in anything. Okay, so let's call this false. Um, and this clears the pop up. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Sets the pop up to the owner. Sets the pop up as the name of the item or the name of the, the text. So I hope that works. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What do we do? Front frame is not a valid member of frame. Front frame. Front frame. Yeah, it is. What do we do here? Starter player. Front frame is not a valid member of. Oh. Do we need to do wait for child? Hold on. Collapse that down. Front frame. Is there a space in there? Hold on. <gasps> There's a space. Spaces will get you every single time. I'm sorry. I'm going. I'm going. I'm already five minutes over the front. Uh, front frame grab text is not a valid member of frame. Okay, probably the same thing. Grab text. Oh, that's why. So context. Grab text. Here we go. Does it work? It's working. Uh oh. Uh, enabled is not a valid member of screen GUI. Wait, what? Yeah, it is. Where is it? It's enabled right there. Enabled. Disabled. Enabled. Did I spell it wrong? <laughs> All right, callback enabled, enabled, enabled with the D. There we go. There we go. Now we can go. <clears throat> Do it. All right, so whenever I move my mouse, whoa. <sighs> okay, value is not a valid member of text box. Oh, it's because it's text, isn't it? It's called text. Where is it? Text, value, text, 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 text. Right there, it's called text. I knew that. Text. Text. Go! All right, here we go. Please, please, please. Ew, that still didn't work. What happened? Enabled. Enabled. Well, at least we know that we're going in the right direction. Enabled. There we go. Fine. <laughs> yep. 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 Nice. Uh-oh. Wait, what? What, 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 what? Oh, oh, it does, it like, <laughs> it's because it's not constantly, if I start the grab, okay, so, thank you, I don't know what that was, so what's happening is, uh, even though I'm grabbing it, okay, so, here, I'll explain, mm -hmm. so even though I click on it, and it says, yep, like as I move off of it, who is, get off of here. Excuse me one second. Hey, 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 hey stop. Really? There we go. It's muted. <laughs> so, okay, even though uh, we have context of a grab. Wait, why is it? Oh, ooh, that's not good. Okay, so we got a couple of things wrong with our uh, our grab. So first off, whenever you move your mouse over it, it is working. It pops up, it says yep, yep, yep. And in fact, I bet these boxes have it in there too. <laughs> like this test box or something. Oh, I didn't put anything, there's no values in them. Stop. Oh gosh. 
So if you look right here, that one test part can grab. I'm just going to call this the test log. Test log. And we're just going to call this one test log two. Test log two. And isn't there, yeah, there's a third one. Inside here, test log three. Oops, sorry. Test log three. So, doop, 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 uh, grab you. Oh, by the way, this right here, shelf, is this anchored? It is anchored. I'm going to unanchor it, okay? Because these three things right here are, are pretty cool. You can basically, you can knock down the shelves. So grab a box, throw it underneath, and it knocks it down. So, uh, wait, oh, dang it, I wasn't... Stop, 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 right here. Test box, can grab, no value. Um, pink shop box test. There we go. So this right here, I'm actually going to duplicate all of these. We need to delete... A lot of clicking. Delete. There we go. So this test box, I can go Control D, duplicates. Oops, Control Z. There we go. Control. Let's hit both of these. Control D. It's easy. This one and this one. Oh, come on. Hold shift. There we go. Control D. Control D. Control D. Just like that. There we go. Now I should be able to. One, two. Come on. Oh my gosh. Why is this not. Letting me select. Oh, that was rough. Control D duplicates those. And push that back just a little bit. Control D. There. So now we should have our test boxes in there. I'm going to have to make it whenever you actually grab onto something. Whatever that something is, if there's a target, then it holds on to that value until you let go. Zoink. There we go. So, um, let's do this. Oh, uh, where are we? Grab object equals nil dragger. All right, so we already have a, a global value called dragger. So if the dragger exists, we do not want to do anything. Uh, if not, not, uh, if dragger uh, equals nil, then end. There we go. Same thing up here. Uh, if target, we'll check to see if dragger equals nil. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, wait. I guess. There. Take that out right there. Before we do this. Oh, 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 ah, control Z. Before we do this entire thing. We can just check to see if the dragger exists. And if the dragger does exist, then we don't need to do anything. Right? So this actually goes with this here. Uh, end dra dragger check. So there we go. Run. So I should be able to move my mouse over. And then once I grab, the menu stays on until. I let go. There we go. Grab. 
Yay. Yep. Test log two. Yep is still the same. And test log three. Hello. Hi. Hi. It's, a, it's 11. Okay. Give me a couple of seconds. Okay. I'm finishing right now. Uh, a video. I'm recording. Pink shoot box. No, shop. Shop box. Shoot box works too. <laughs> Pink shoot shoot box. It's not a it's not a shoot box. It's a it's a shop box. But anybody who's actually like watching, that's gonna be funny. <laughs> uh let's also do this. Uh let's go let's go back over to here. And this is the grab GUI. Uh, let's go ahead and enable this real quick. Enabled. And uh, let's see. Duplicate. And we'll put this down here. But this is not going to be E. This is going to be the Roblox mouse. There we go. Uh, grab text. Is it nothing? It's nothing right now. So let's change this. Uh, where's text? Test. Test. I want this to be larger. Uh, text size 14. Let's go 24. And can we have it bolded, please? Where's the font? Font. There we go. Can we just press down? Ooh, nice. Gotham Black. Gotham Bold. Gotham Semi-Bold. Ooh, I like Semi-Bold. Uh, so, test box. Hmm, I like it. I like it a lot. Tell me, what do you think in the comments down below? If you want. I mean, you don't have to. Uh, let's go grab context, enabled, disabled, F5, please hurry. There we go. Test log three. Yay. Oh my gosh. It looks amazing. Yay. Woo. Woo. -hoo -hoo. Woo. Oh, sorry. Woo. Uh oh. <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Let's Make a Game with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate, as we do some menu items and some GUIs and stuff. I mean, that's that was pretty fun. Uh, the context is coming, so I mean, hopefully it's go it, it's going well. All right, in an overall feel of being able to do everything is it's just going to come together. I know it looks like a lot of bits and pieces right now, but it, it's there. A lot of stuff is there. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos. But it's your choice. I love you guys. Have a great night. And we'll talk to you very soon. <gasps> Outro. Thank you.